Shalom everyone, it's a Shabbat and I wanted to bless you with this short message. Look, sometimes even bad and evil people will try to warn you. Because bad and evil people are still human beings. They're of bad quality, absolutely. They're self-destructive, they should be avoided. But sometimes even they get fed up with some of the stupidity that goes on with some of the blade injustice out there. So sometimes you'll have reprobates, whether narcissists, sociopaths, or psychopaths, whatever uh, ra range they're in. Sometimes reprobates will hint to you that you need to get out of a situation. Sometimes reprobates, they, some, reprobates can do good things. Don't get me wrong. They are able to do good things. But does it mean just because they do good things, they're good people? No. But sometimes reprobates will be shocked by the blatant neglect of the public. Because remember, reprobates, often they were neglected also, and they use it as an excuse to become the monsters they've become. So, so, the, so uh, they have no excuse, but still they understand the masses can be neglectful. And sometimes the reprobates themselves get so fed up with neglect that they will show you openly what these people are. Now, the Heavenly Father does not need the reprobate around. The Heavenly Father can deport the reprobate to like a fire anytime, and it, it is over. But to glorify himself in their self-destruction, the Heavenly Father will even use reprobates from time to time to rescue you, believer, from bad situations. Maybe, um, okay, let, for example, there was this movie I saw, one, one, uh, like, I don't know whether it was 15 years ago, whatever, or 10 years ago, I don't know, the scene from a movie I remember. There, was, there were two guys, two friends. The younger friend was interested in this, in this lady. But the older friend realized, hold on a minute, this lady's trash. So the older friend proved to the younger one, listen, dude, I hit on her and she jumped on me. And the young friend thinking, what the fuck did you do, bro? I thought we were buddies. And all the friends thinking, dude, she is trash. How come she's aimed to you? She's making promise to you. I just show up, don't even make that much effort, and she jumps at me like that. What the heck? So, so that was the scene of the movie. And I remember the scene of this movie today. I thought, you know what? Let me make a, uh, a short video about this. Sometimes, even the reprobate will think, you know what? Fuck this. This goes too far. Something needs to be done. It's way too shocking. It's way too embarrassing. And God will allow reprobates to do good things. It's not a pleasant thing, but reprobates can do good things. I'm not saying you should now credit them as good people or whatever. But understand, God will professionally use reprobates to rescue you from bad situations. So, pay attention to who's around you. And if someone's of bad quality, they're of bad quality. You can't blame yourself for them being of bad quality. But just because they're of bad quality doesn't mean they can never, ever, under any circumstance, have something valuable to say, something, uh, or they can never do anything valuable. They can. It's just that they don't want to be of value. That's it. So, don't dismiss God's redirections. God may even use a reprobate, a filthy, stinking reprobate, to rescue you. Let them do it. Be at peace.